Hey there, ghosts. It's about time I did an updated sniper guide for Wildlands. So today, we're going to talk about sniper strategy and getting the most out of the range available to you in Wildlands. Before we start, all I ask is that you gently stroke the trigger on that like button and cycle the bolt on the subscribe button to help Ghost Gamer News succeed in the YouTube algorithm dominated world. With that out of the way, let's break down sniping in Ghost Recon Wildlands. If you want to engage at long range, you need the right equipment to do it. As far as sniper rifles go, it's all about what you're comfortable with. If you haven't already, check out my guide on ranging your rifle in Wildlands. You can be using the best rifle in the game, yet be completely awful if you don't know where your bullet will land. If you don't want to bother calculating your own dope, feel free to use a rifle from my Wildlands bullet drop charts. Oh, and it's not a bad idea to skip the suppressor, just for the extra muzzle velocity. Next, be smart about choosing a secondary rifle. You may not be able to engage every target at longer ranges, so having a good medium to close range weapon as a backup is always a solid option, assuming you're not playing on ghost mode. If you are playing on ghost mode, I'd suggest the Mark 14 just for its versatility at both long and medium ranges. I'll be putting together a guide later on what to take with you in ghost mode. Picking a good location to shoot from in Wildlands isn't as simple as you may think. There are a lot of factors to keep in mind when selecting your perch. Most importantly, plan a good exfil route, and ideally plan for a few draw enemies to you. If you can, try to funnel them towards you in a single path that you can lay mines on. Exfiltration paths are important because, should you alert the base, you may need to move quickly to avoid mortars or enemy snipers. Make sure the bulk of your targets are going to be within 600 meters, but also be careful to not be too close to your targets as well as roads. You don't want your firing to draw too much attention. Finally, make sure you can take out the generator early on. If your favorite perch doesn't have line of sight on the generator, move to a different one and use the other as a backup. Now that you've got your perch situation nailed down, whip out your drone and start scouting. Make good use of the Rebel Recon ability and be sure to watch for patrols. You may realize your perch situation is still not quite ideal and now is the time to start looking around again before you start firing off rounds. All right, it's finally time to take your shots. Your first targets, aside from the generator, snipers, always snipers. These are the only enemies. They're going to be an immediate threat without warning. If they spot you, you need to get to cover quickly. After that, I suggest picking off targets around the mortar region just to give yourself extra time should the base become fully aware of you. Make use of your AI teammates to handle groups of enemies on patrols. Fully maxed out, you can take three additional people other than your personal target with Singshot, so don't hesitate to use them. When targets are entrenched, you might need to consider infiltration. This is where your secondary comes into play, so don't let it just sit and collect dust on its sling. It happens. You missed a shot, and the target is in cover, and the entire base gets alerted. No problem. First, move to cover. Next, call in rebel reinforcements to your location. Then, bring up your drone and call up a rebel diversion between you and the base. This will be enough to allow you to safely relocate to a secondary perch should you choose, or just hide until the coast is clear. Just make sure to move if the base is capable of mortar fire. If you're spotted, you are a prime target for mortars, so get some distance from the perch. I hope this guide has been helpful, and don't forget to visit ghostgamer.news for more sniper, stealth, and tactical game news and guides. That's it, ghosts. Happy sniping.